All right, if you're using Google Sheets and you want to count the number of unique items in a list, there's a built-in way to do that. If you look at your, if you look at the available functions in Google Sheets, I'm going to click in cell B10 right now. It's called count unique. And in a lot of situations, it'll work just fine. But this list is constructed in a way that it may not be giving you the result that you want. So we're going to say that we want to count here the occurrence of pair and this pair in B9 to just be one. So we're, what we're saying here is we want to ignore the capitalization or uh, make it case insensitive. And that's what we'll go through right now. And as we go along in this sheet, if you want your own copy, if you go to the this URL that's in the description, uh, you can just click right here and it will uh, pop up and ask you to copy this Google Sheet in your Google Drive and then you can follow along uh, as we do it. But in cell B10, if I double click in it, we have the count unique function and that's not working, right? It's giving us a five, but we want is a three. So we want to only count pear, peach, and strawberry. Okay, so we want these two to just be included as the same as their brethren here that are capitalized differently. So let's go down to, uh, we'll work on our solution here. It's going to end up in B19, but we'll talk about how it's going to be constructed. And there's really three steps. So we're going to end up with three functions embedded within each other to make a formula. Not super complex really, but we should talk about it as we do it. So you know what's going on. Uh, the first one that we're going to do is it's a method to make all the capitalization the same. We're not going to change the capitalization that's in the original uh, cells, but we're going to change the capitalization as it flows into the formula. So one way to do that is the proper function that just capitalizes the first letter in each word. Uh, you can also use upper or lower. They're all going to do the same thing, and the point is to make it uniform. Uh, but we'll do proper. So proper for D14, if I close this off, is going to look like that. And we'll drag it down, and we'll see that it makes them uh, all the same. So if you were to run count unique on this, cell D14 and D18 would just count as one. All right, so now you see what we're doing, but the problem that we're facing right now is that proper can only be run on one cell at a time. So next we're going to fix that with, let me delete these, a function called array formula. So array formula can take um, as an argument a function that doesn't typically accept an array so as we just said, proper just wants one cell, but since we wrapped it in array formula, we're going to give it a range. So we're going to give it a 14, no, no, not a B 14 through B 18. All right. And I'll, uh, we're not quite done yet, but I'm going to hit enter here. So you'll see what's happening. So that outputs an array. So it's still just in D14. If I go down to D15 and I hit the delete key, it just keeps getting rewritten because that content is actually coming from the array that's written from the array formula function. All right, so that one function or that one formula is writing all five of these cells. So that's giving us what we want. What we wanna do is we want to take that function and then use the count unique formula on the result of that. All right, so we're going to embed it into count unique. We'll close off the end of the function, hit enter, and it gives us a three. All right, so if you wanna see more about that array formula, how you can use it, uh, I think being aware of it, then you'll realize that you can use it in a lot of different situations. If you didn't know it was a thing, you probably never knew you wanted it. So this next video that's on the screen now will show you more about the array function. So hopefully between these videos, the link spreadsheets and the website at Sheets Help, you'll be able to learn everything you need to know about Google Sheets. I hope. Thanks for watching.